in a world where time is precious. How can ancient wisdom make a profound impact in just 20 minutes? Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, once said, It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. So what if I told you that in the next 20 minutes you could unlock and fully understand the principles of Stoicism? So are you ready to embark on a swift yet profound journey into the heart of Stoicism? Let's unravel these timeless truths and discover how to apply them in our everyday lives, efficiently and effectively. Before we begin, I would appreciate if you would like the video so that you can help me to continue spreading the Stoic philosophy. If you are not subscribed, I recommend you to subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss any video. Principle number one, understanding what is in our control. Understanding what is in our control and what isn't forms the bedrock of Stoic philosophy. It's about recognizing our power and limits in the unfolding drama of life. Consider a typical day. You're about to give a big presentation at work. You've prepared every slide, rehearsed every word. But as you're about to start, the power goes out. Frustration, panic, even anger might be your first reactions. Yet in this scenario, the power outage is beyond your control. What lies within your grasp is how you handle this unexpected twist. This principle applies to every facet of life. Take relationships, for instance. You can be the most caring, attentive partner, but you can't control how your significant other feels or acts. They might forget an important date or say something hurtful. In these moments, remember that your response is your responsibility. You choose to approach these situations with understanding or resentment. In professional settings, this stoic lesson is equally crucial. Imagine you've worked tirelessly on a project, only for it to be scrapped by higher management. In the face of such disappointment, Stoicism teaches us to focus on our response rather than the decision that's out of our hands. It's about acknowledging our feelings but not letting them overpower our judgment. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, encapsulated this beautifully when he said, We cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. These words are a powerful reminder that while we can't control everything in our lives, we have complete authority over our attitudes and actions. This stoic principle also extends to our internal world. Our thoughts and emotions, while they seem spontaneous and uncontrollable, are actually areas where we can exert significant influence, feeling anxious or upset. Notice these emotions, but also realize you have the power to challenge and change your thinking patterns. In summary, understanding what we can control is liberating. It teaches us to invest our energy wisely, focusing on our actions, responses, and attitudes. This doesn't mean we become passive or indifferent. Instead, we become proactive in the areas where we can truly make a difference, leading to a more resilient and satisfying life. Principle number two, embracing temporary nature of life. Embracing the temporary nature of life is a profound stoic principle that reminds us of the impermanence of everything around us. This notion might initially sound somber, but it's actually a call to live more fully and appreciate the present. Let's dive into what this means in our everyday lives. Picture a moment of simple joy, watching a sunset, the laughter of a child, or the aroma of your morning coffee. These fleeting experiences are beautiful precisely because they don't last forever. Embracing this transience makes us more present and attentive to the richness of life. It's about savoring the experience while it's here without clinging to it when it's time to let go. This principle also applies to our possessions and achievements. You might work hard to buy a dream car or achieve a career milestone. Yet these two are transient. A new model replaces your car. A new goal replaces your achievement. Recognizing this impermanence helps us to avoid becoming overly attached to material things and status. It encourages us to find joy in the experience and the journey, not just the destination. In relationships, this idea takes on a special significance. Every interaction, every moment with loved ones, gains an added depth when viewed through the lens of impermanence. It teaches us to cherish our time with them, to resolve conflicts quickly, and to express our love and appreciation openly. It's a reminder that every encounter could be our last, so we should make it count. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, beautifully captured this sentiment all things fade into the storied past, and in a little while are shrouded in oblivion. His words aren't meant to dishearten us, but to awaken us to the beauty of the present. By acknowledging life's impermanence, we learn not to take anything for granted. 
Embracing life's temporary nature also prepares us for inevitable changes and losses. When we understand that nothing is ours to keep forever, we can face life's ups and downs with greater equanimity. We learn to appreciate the good times without desperation and navigate the hard times with a sense of perspective. In essence, this stoic principle is an invitation to live more deeply, to value every moment, and to see the ephemeral beauty in all aspects of life. It teaches us that the quality of our experiences is far more valuable than their duration, guiding us towards a richer, more meaningful existence. Principle number three, the virtue of self-discipline. The virtue of self-discipline, a key stoic principle, is not about denying ourselves pleasure, but about not being enslaved by fleeting desires. It's a practice of choosing long-term satisfaction over short-term gratification, a skill that deeply enriches our lives in various aspects. Imagine you're at a social event where everyone is indulging in unhealthy snacks. You're trying to eat healthily, but the temptation is overwhelming. Here, self-discipline isn't just about resisting a treat. It's about aligning your actions with your deeper values and goals. Each time you choose a healthier option, you're reinforcing your commitment to your well-being. This principle also plays a crucial role in managing our time and productivity. We live in an age of constant distractions, social media, streaming services, endless notifications. It's easy to give in to these distractions, but self-discipline helps us to stay focused on our goals, whether it's finishing a work project or spending quality time with family. It's about prioritizing what truly matters over what seems urgent at the moment. In financial matters, self-discipline is equally important. The temptation to spend impulsively to buy the latest gadget or fashion trend can be strong. However, practicing self-discipline in our spending habits means we prioritize our financial security and long-term goals like saving for a home, education, or retirement. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, once said, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This is particularly true when it comes to self-discipline. We often imagine that saying no to a desire will be painfully restrictive. But in reality, exercising self-discipline often brings a sense of accomplishment, peace, and freedom. Self-discipline extends to our emotional and mental lives. It's about regulating our responses to others and to challenging situations. For instance, when faced with criticism or conflict, it might be tempting to react impulsively with anger or defensiveness. However, applying self-discipline allows us to respond thoughtfully and constructively, preserving relationships and our own inner peace. In essence, self-discipline is a liberating force. It frees us from being at the mercy of passing whims and aligns us more closely with our true goals and values. It's a path to genuine freedom, where we are not constantly swayed by external temptations, but are guided by our inner compass. By cultivating self-discipline, we gain the strength to create the life we truly desire, one thoughtful choice at a time. Principle number four, developing emotional resilience. Developing emotional resilience, a fundamental stoic principle, is about cultivating an inner strength that allows us to navigate through life's inevitable challenges and uncertainties with composure and clarity. This resilience is not about suppressing emotions, but understanding and managing them effectively. Consider the experience of facing a significant setback, like losing a job. It's natural to feel a wave of emotions, shock, anger, sadness. Emotional resilience doesn't mean these feelings are ignored. Rather, it's about acknowledging them and then gradually shifting focus to constructive ways to move forward. It's the difference between getting swept away by the tide of emotions and learning to swim through them. This principle also applies to interpersonal relationships. We all encounter situations where others' words or actions upset us. Emotional resilience helps us respond rather than react. Instead of immediately expressing anger or frustration, we can take a step back, assess our feelings, and choose a response that aligns with our values and long-term well-being. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, wisely noted, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This statement highlights the essence of emotional resilience. It's not the external events that disturb us, but our interpretation of these events. By changing our perception, we can maintain our equilibrium even in the face of difficulties. In the realm of personal achievements and failures, emotional resilience plays a critical role. Failure, for instance, is an inevitable part of pursuing goals. Whether it's a failed business venture, a rejected proposal, or a missed opportunity, resilience enables us to view these not as defining setbacks, but as valuable learning experiences. 
it encourages us to ask, what can I learn from this? Rather than lamenting, why did this happen to me? Moreover, emotional resilience is about maintaining a balanced perspective in both success and failure. It teaches us to enjoy success without becoming arrogant and to face failure without descending into despair. This balanced approach ensures that our self-worth and happiness are not entirely dependent on external achievements or validations. Emotional resilience, therefore, is a dynamic process. It involves being mindful of our emotional states, learning from our experiences, and adjusting our perspective to maintain a sense of inner stability. It's a skill that grows stronger with practice and over time, leading us not only to survive life's storms, but to thrive within them. By embracing this stoic principle, we equip ourselves with a powerful tool for personal growth and enduring contentment. Principle number five, living in harmony with nature. Living in harmony with nature is a captivating stoic principle that encourages us to align ourselves with the natural order of the world and our inherent human nature. This principle isn't just about environmental consciousness. It's about understanding our place in the universe and acting in accordance with our true nature as rational and social beings. Imagine waking up with the sunrise, aligning your daily rhythm with the natural cycle of day and night. This simple act is a form of living in harmony with nature. It's about syncing our lives with the natural world, which can lead to a more balanced and healthy lifestyle. The Stoics believe that such harmony brings inner peace and contentment. In our interactions with others, this principle advises us to recognize our social nature. Humans are inherently social creatures. We thrive on connections and relationships. Living in harmony with this aspect of our nature means cultivating empathy, kindness, and understanding in our relationships. It's about seeing ourselves as part of a larger community and acting in ways that strengthen these bonds. Marcus Aurelius reflecting on this said, time is a river, a violent current of events, glimpsed once and already carried past us, and another follows and is gone. His words remind us of the constant flow of life and the importance of moving with this flow rather than against it. Just as a river adapts to the contours of the land, we too can learn to adapt to the changing circumstances of life finding our path without resisting the natural course of events. This principle also extends to our professional lives. In a world driven by ambition and competition, living in harmony with nature means recognizing our limits and not pushing ourselves to the point of burnout. It's about finding a balance between work and rest, ambition and contentment, striving for success while remaining grounded in our fundamental human needs. In the context of personal growth and self-improvement, Living in harmony with nature means acknowledging and embracing our strengths and weaknesses. It involves understanding our unique talents and limitations and using this knowledge to guide our life choices and aspirations. This self-awareness leads to a more authentic and fulfilling life path. Ultimately, living in harmony with nature is about understanding our place in the world and acting in ways that are true to our nature as rational, ethical, and social beings. It's about finding balance and meaning in our lives by aligning our actions with the natural order of things. This stoic principle guides us toward a life of purpose and peace, deeply connected with ourselves, others, and the world around us. Principle number six, practicing gratitude. Practicing gratitude, a principle deeply rooted in stoicism, encourages a shift in focus from scarcity to abundance, highlighting the richness present in our everyday lives. This perspective fosters a sense of contentment and well-being, influencing not only our mindset, but also how we interact with the world around us. Imagine beginning each day by acknowledging the simple yet significant aspects of life, the stability of a home, the freshness of the morning air, or even the reliability of your morning coffee. This practice of gratitude can dramatically alter our daily experience, creating a foundation of positivity and appreciation. In the realm of personal relationships, the power of gratitude is particularly transformative. Focusing on the positive traits and actions of those around us, rather than dwelling on flaws or disagreements, can strengthen and enrich these connections. Expressing gratitude for the support, love, and joy others bring into our lives not only bolsters these relationships, but also nurtures a supportive and loving environment. Epictetus, a philosopher who greatly influenced Stoic thought, once pointed out, he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. This insight is at the heart of practicing gratitude. It's about recognizing and celebrating what we have rather than lamenting what we don't. 
During challenging periods, the role of gratitude becomes even more crucial. Finding things to be thankful for when facing difficulties like a health issue or a financial struggle can provide a sense of stability and hope. For example, amidst a career setback, being grateful for the learning experience or the time it affords for self-reflection can shift our perspective from loss to opportunity. Gratitude also plays a key role in how we view ourselves. Appreciating our efforts, talents, and progress fosters a positive self-image and encourages ongoing personal growth. It's a form of self-acknowledgement that celebrates our journey and the steps we take, no matter how small. Additionally, gratitude has tangible benefits for our mental and physical health. Regularly expressing gratitude has been linked to reduced stress, improved sleep quality, and better overall health. It's a practice that nurtures not only a positive outlook, but also a healthier lifestyle. Thus, embracing gratitude is about adopting an abundance mindset. It's choosing to recognize and celebrate the positive aspects of our lives, to find joy in the ordinary, and to approach each day with a heart full of appreciation. This stoic principle guides us toward a life filled with more joy, fulfillment, and meaning. Principle number seven, contributing to the common good. Contributing to the common good is a central stoic principle, emphasizing the idea that our actions should not only benefit ourselves, but also positively impact those around us. This concept encourages us to look beyond our individual desires and to consider the welfare of the larger community. Let's consider the choices we make in our daily lives, like deciding to use public transport or to recycle. These actions might seem small, but they contribute to larger societal goals, such as reducing traffic congestion or environmental conservation. Each choice that aligns with the common good helps to create a more sustainable and harmonious world. In the workplace, contributing to the common good can take the form of collaborative teamwork, where the focus is on collective success rather than individual achievement. It's about sharing knowledge, supporting colleagues, and working towards a common goal, understanding that the team's success is also personal success. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor and philosopher, once reflected, what is not good for the swarm is not good for the bee. This analogy perfectly captures the essence of this principle. Just as bees work for the welfare of their hive, we, as part of society, flourish when our actions contribute to the well-being of our community. In our neighborhoods and local communities, contributing to the common good might involve participating in community service, supporting local businesses, or being involved in decision-making processes. It's about fostering a sense of belonging and responsibility towards the place we call home. This principle also extends to the digital world. In an age where social media often amplifies negativity, choosing to spread positive messages, share informative content, and engage in respectful dialogues contributes to a healthier online environment. It's a reminder that our digital footprint can and should be a force for good. Moreover, Contributing to the common good also means being conscious of how our actions impact future generations. This long-term perspective guides us to make decisions that not only serve our immediate needs, but also ensure a better world for those who come after us. In essence, embracing the stoic principle of contributing to the common good is about recognizing our interconnectedness and responsibility towards each other. It's a call to live a life that not only seeks personal fulfillment, but also aspires to uplift and benefit others. This approach to life fosters a sense of purpose, belonging, and deep satisfaction, knowing that our actions contribute to a greater good. In concluding our quick exploration of Stoicism, we've delved into seven key principles and their role in fostering inner peace and resilience. This journey goes beyond mere theory. It's a practical blueprint for finding purpose and calm amidst life's chaos. I encourage you to join the conversation by sharing which Stoic principle resonates with you most or how you've applied stoicism in your life. Your insights and stories are vital to our collective pursuit of wisdom and understanding. Each contribution enriches our community. Let's maintain this dialogue, uplifting and motivating each other as we embrace stoic wisdom. Speaking of community, we have some exciting news. You can now join our exclusive stoic bond community. Becoming a member unlocks a host of benefits designed to enhance your journey with us. You'll receive priority responses to your comments making your voice heard louder and clearer. You'll be recognized with a special member badge, proudly displayed next to your name on our channel page. But that's not all. As a member, your name will be featured at the end of each video, 
celebrating your contribution to our collective growth. I want to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to everyone who already became members of our community after the last video. Your ongoing support, engagement, and insights are incredibly appreciated and are a major driving force behind the continuous improvement and growth of our channel. Joining our community is more than just accessing perks. It's about forging a deeper connection with a global network of like-minded individuals. It's about growing together, learning from each other, and supporting one another on our stoic journeys. So, don't wait. Click the join button, become a part of our stoic community, and let's embark on this journey of growth and empowerment together. As we navigate the currents of life with stoic guidance, remember, it's not just the teachings that empower us, but the shared bond within our stoic community. United, we find strength. Together, we cultivate endurance. In harmony, we live stoicism. Thank you for being a part of this philosophical journey. Until our paths cross again, hold fast to your tranquility, cherish your stoic kinship, stay steadfast, stay united, stay stoic.